so hello and uh, I'm showing this video a bit of a demo about the um, trying out the module of the radio frequency module this is the NLF 24L01 so uh, it's looking like it's working really good uh, so what I did basically here I've tried to make this first of all you can notice the breakout board that I using I uh, just made those I kinda talked about it in a little short video that you can find on my channel as well so I'm using here the mega this is the transmitter so uh, the mega uh, transmit some data over this module to this module right here which is connected to the Arduino Nano over here and based on that data it it, uh, it uh, turn on and off this uh, LED so that's pretty much it so the code of actually handling the handling the LED is written on the mega is on the code for the mega but all it does but this all it does is just uh, like applying that data on the LED so uh, you cannot I don't know if you can see the code but what I did is I'm sending the state so I first of all I made a boolean I put a boolean variable uh, which I set to initially to zero and then I sent that state over over the radio modules then I have put a delay then I changed the state to one and I send it again and a delay and it loops back as you can see the monitor is gone the serial monitor for the uh, for the nano has gone crazy because it's the delay is just 100 milliseconds now as for the code of the nano well, basically, you can see you just set up the communication at the void setup section. But other than that, in the loop uh, section, uh, just while the, the the communication is established, I just read the state of the LED and and I just write it. I just put a digital write LED pin the state that I just received through the module and I also just to debug I don't know just printed that on the serial monitor as you can see here thanks guys for watching uh, this is my first experience with these models and I like them uh, this is just good if I can just uh, right now I want to test this distance but I'll do it later and I do wanna what I want to do is uh, basically I'm gonna like do a home automation system that uses this setup like this so I got uh, I will have like one only one transmitter with this module then I'll have like multiple of these like a nano since it's small and you uh, I'll tell you why so the and its module and I'm gonna use it also I'm gonna want to use some relays just like these for instance these are just 12 volts but I'd rather work with 5 volts since uh, all my uh, circuitry is basically working on 5 volts by the way the module works just on 3.3 volts for its power but the other pins are okay with 5 volts so uh, yeah I'm gonna make like multiple of these uh, circuit uh, similar to this one and like control lights so for example I'm gonna ch put this inside a wall switch like this one this uh, you know traditional one and control my lighting via from sending commands to the transmitter which in turn send them to the 
to the receiver uh, which uh, and the menu with the transmitter I'm gonna control it with a smartphone via Bluetooth which I'm gonna add another mod Bluetooth model you can check basically the video that I made uh, all about Bluetooth and the relay board that's also for home automation but this is just a, another different idea that will work wirelessly the other one would require cabling so that's kind of the advantage of this setup that I'm thinking about uh, I guess that's it I guess I only I already said thanks for watching so no need to repeat it but I just did <laughs> whatever anyways uh, hope you like this and sorry if I can't just show this uh, in operation while I made it because uh, you know uh, I can't just hold the phone and work with one hand that's basically impossible so uh, I hope you like this if you need anything just comment or uh, ask can ask for it if you need the code or anything any information about this I guess that's too much for this video and see you in the next one